In a recent video, I announced several new pool quizzes that test how much you know about the game. One of the quizzes deals with pool physics principles. In this video series, I demonstrate answers to selected questions in that quiz. This is part 2, covering questions 11 through 30. Enjoy! Here, in slow motion, you can clearly see that a ball rolling into a cushion typically leaves with stun, and a ball sliding into a cushion with stun leaves with rolling topspin. Here's a good example from the video encyclopedia of 9-ball and 10-ball. I'm shooting at the 5, which is frozen to the cushion, and need to get up table for a shot at the 6. I could use straight draw, but I might hit the 7 or scratch in the side. The 8, 9, and 10 also make it difficult to go forward with or without running English. The right play here is to stun across the table with left side spin to send the cue ball up table off the opposite cushion. If I hit the 5 first, or hit the 5 while compressing the cushion, the side spin will take on the cushion after the hit, causing the cue ball to head down table, where I might hit the 8 or 9. So here, I need to hit the cushion first, hitting the 5 after the cue ball has mostly rebounded off the cushion. In slow motion, you can clearly see the cushion first hit. Here's a close-up of the hit on the cushion and ball. From these cross-sections through popular low cue ball deflection shafts, it is clear that the main factor reducing cue ball deflection is making the end of the shaft very light, either by drilling out the core or by using hollow or foam-filled carbon fiber. Here's a physical explanation for why that works. With an off-center hit, the tip starts to rotate with the cue ball during tip contact. This pushes the end of the shaft sideways. Whenever you push on anything with mass, it pushes back. Isaac Newton said, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. That's why the cue ball does not head straight. The effect of cloth conditions on cue ball deflection is similar to the effect of shot speed. With slick cloth, as with faster speed, the cue ball squirts to the left with right spin and doesn't swerve back very much, resulting in greater net cue ball deflection. At slower speed, or with cloth that is old and dirty under humid conditions, the cue ball still squirts to the left, but it swerves back to the right sooner, resulting in less net cue ball deflection. With a cut to the left and left spin, the object ball gets thrown to the right. And with lots of right spin, the object ball gets thrown to the left. Therefore, there is an amount of spin that will result in no throw whatsoever. It is called gearing outside spin since the cue ball rolls along the object ball while in contact, like a meshing gear. Notice how the vertical ball stripe remains vertical during the shot. This wasn't the case with the other shots that had throw, where the stripe wobbled. Anytime there is throw, side spin is transferred to the object ball. Here's an example where the 11-13 frozen combo points to the pocket. 
When the line of centers points to the pocket, you need to hit the 11 along the line of centers. Did you notice the spin transferred to the 11 by the cue ball? This is called cut induced spin. Did you notice that the spin threw the 13 to the left slightly? I almost missed the shot. If you use gearing outside spin with a line of centers hit, you can eliminate spin transfer and throw for a pure shot. Did you see the 11 stun in place with no spin? And did you see the 13 head straight for the pocket? To get maximum SIT with a straight shot, use slow speed stun with about half of maximum side spin. With less spin, you get less throw. With maximum spin, you might think you would get maximum throw, but you would be wrong. Again, when the relative speed between the ball surfaces gets faster, the surfaces don't engage as easily, resulting in less friction and throw. You get even less throw with maximum spin and fast speed. Again, maximum SIT occurs with a slow stun shot with about half of maximum spin. Throw is smaller with follow and draw shots. For a baseline, here's a stun shot. With full topspin, the amount of throw is about half of the throw expected with a stun shot at the same speed. The reason for this is the friction force at the point of contact is not pointing sideways in the throw direction, as with the stun shot. Instead, it is pointing down slightly, so there is less force available in the horizontal direction. With full bottom spin, as with full top spin, the throw is about half. Although, some bottom spin shots can have more throw than one might expect. With slow speed or large distance, the back spin wears off on the way to the object ball, and the cue ball slows down due to drag, and this can lead to soft stun, which will produce maximum throw. Did you see the tangent line motion of the cue ball? Even though I hit it with maximum back spin, all of the spin was lost on the way to the object ball. I hope you enjoy this video series answering all the pool physics quiz questions. If you want a challenge, see how well you can do on all the new pool quizzes. Links to the quiz resource page and all videos used in this series are available in the video description. Have fun with the quizzes and good luck with your game from Dr. Dave.